Hi everyone, I'm Alex and I will show you in this video how to handle the asynchronous Firebase API. We'll use the new Cloud Firestore database from Google and Android. I'm using for this video a very simple database which holds only three documents under a collection named items. The code to get the name of these three items is quite simple. First, I have created a Firebase Firestore object by calling the static method getInstance. Then, I have created a collection reference which points exactly here. I also have created a list that will hold our item names. I also have added a listener and implemented the onComplete method. But guys, don't forget also to implement the else part of our statement, because in this part we can print the error and it's very helpful. Don't ignore it. Now, if the task is successful, we can loop through the entire document snapshot object to get the actual item names. I have used for this video the incomplete listener interface. If we have used the unsuccess listener interface, we would have had much the same thing. In this case, as you can see, we have implemented the incomplete method. But in case of unsuccess listener interface, we should have implemented the unsuccess method. But both of them have an asynchronous behavior. But remember, the difference is that we can say that the task is complete when the work represented by the task is finished, regardless of its, its success or failure. There may be or may be not an error, but we must check for that. But a task is successfully when the work represented by the task is finished, as expected, and without any errors. I have also added three additional log statements to see more clearly how this works. So we have, before attaching the listener, inside the onComplete method, and after attaching the listener. There is also another log statement that will help us print the elements of our list. So if we run this code, I bet it's not what you expected. And as you can see, the line after attaching the listener is printed even before the line inside the incomplete method. But it explains precisely why the list is empty when trying to print its elements. The list is empty because by the time we are calling this log statement, we haven't finished yet loading the data from the database. And depending on your connection speed, it may take from a few hundred milliseconds to a few seconds before the data is available. With other words, we cannot just simply take the list and use it outside the incomplete method. The initial response for most developers is to try to fix this asynchronous behavior, but I recommend against this. Trying to call a synchronous method on the main thread could freeze your app, which is a terrible user experience. On Android, it could also crash your app with an application not responding dialog. A quick fix for this would be to move this log statement inside the incomplete method. This means that we are using this list only inside this method. Let's run this code to see what happens. Let's clean this up. And as you can see, it worked. The list is not empty anymore. But if we intend to use this list outside the incomplete method, then we need to create a custom callback to wait for the data. In order to achieve this, we need to create an interface. And we have private interface, and let's call this interface Firestore callback. And this, inside this interface, let's define a method, which is void. Let's name it on callback, which uses a single argument, which is a list 
of strings. Now let's create a method which is private void and let's name it read data which uses a single argument of type firestore callback. And inside this method let's cut all these lines and paste it over here. Let's delete now these lines of code because are not needed anymore. And let's cut this line of code and add our list item in our Firestore callback. Item list. And in the end, just simply call read data method and pass an instance of our Firestore callback as an argument. Now inside the onCallback method, let's paste this line and replace the item list with a list. And now let's see if it works in our emulator. Let's clean this up. And as you can see, it worked. We can make it even simpler by replacing this and this with the lambda expression. So this is how we can handle the asynchronous behavior of the oncomplete method in Android. I have also added in the description below a link with one of my answers from Stack Overcome overflow regarding this topic. I have also added a link with a video about the asynchronous behavior of the on data change method when working with Firebase real-time database and Android. So hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.